Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so it's what you're working on Wednesday. <laughs> Today is August um, 11th, I think. Yeah, I think it's the 4th. I can't remember. <laughs> Today I'm working on some appliques for my Christmas blanket that I'm working on for a while. It's going to take a while to finish it because I'm going slow on it. It's kind of like a background project, but it is a free pattern and a paid pattern. You can buy it in a PDF or get it free on the website of Maria's Blue Crown. She has some of the cutest patterns ever. She makes cute amigurumis and blankets. She has so many blankets. My Halloween blanket's actually right here. Whoops. <laughs> it's on my couch. It's big, so I can't show you the whole thing, but this is it in a nutshell. There it is. It's so cute. And I did line this one. Uh, I'm going to line the Christmas one too, and when I get to that point, I'm going to make a video about it because I've had a few people ask me how I did it. But anyways, back to what I'm working on. <laughs> so I'm working still on the first week, which was to make eight squares, which I already made. They're over there in my cart. I made four of the cream color ones and four of the red ones. And then also, you're supposed to make four of the little Santa appliques. It's really little, the picture. <laughs> but I started working on that this morning. So they're nowhere near done. I've made two of them so far, but they're all in pieces. <laughs> so here's two of Santa's um, faces. That's his beard. And here are two Santa noses. <laughs> and then two Santa hats. There's a ton of ends here. I don't worry about ends when I make these blankets because I just, um, I weave them to the back of the item and knot them because these are going to be sewn onto the square. And then the squares are going to be lined with the uh, fleece so I don't have to worry about my ends I just knot them really good and cut them <laughs> but there they are so their little hat will be on their head kind of like that but the hat's gonna be kind of bent over and then the nose will be you know on the face <laughs> and then uh, I could use safety eyes because I did on this one like see right here the cats got safety eyes and I think the witches yeah the witches and the little um Frankenstein monsters. There's one. They all have safety eyes, and uh, what I do is because I don't want them to be pokey through the um, fleece, is I put the little backs on there, and then I use some gate cutters in our toolbox. I think that's what they're called. That's what my husband calls them. I don't know what they're called. And I just cut off most of the back of the safety eye, uh, not the last little rim to where the back would fall off, but up to that, so that it's a little bit shorter. And then now with that, you can't even fill them through the blanket. Anyways, I'm going to do that with these, but I think I'm out of little tiny safety eyes. So if I am out of the little tiny ones, I will be just making um, like French knot top eyes for all these. Because there's a few appliques on this pattern that will have eyes. There's Santas, there's elves, there's reindeers, and snowmen, I believe. I think that's everything with eyes. <laughs> I'm not sure. Those are the ones I can remember off the top of my head. So I'm, I'm kind of halfway done with this one. I got two more little Santas to make. I'll probably sit over there and make them real quick because I got my scrap balls already pulled out. And then I got to assemble them. <laughs> and then sew them onto the light color squares. And then I'll be done with the first section of the blanket. And I'll be moving on to the next one. But that's what I'm working on this Wednesday. <laughs> so let me, don't, let me know down in the comments below what you guys are working on. And feel free to share any links to channels. Or I just got a uh, <laughs> email from Jesse's school app. Anyways, um feel free to leave links down below in the comments for the patterns you're using or their shops that they come from or the people who made them you know any of those links <laughs> feel free to leave them below or video tutorials because a lot of people like those and uh, i'll link this blanket down below also and i'm going to pop up a picture here of the the whole thing so you can see what it looks like when it's done she's got a christmas one a halloween one a summertime themed one a barnyard themed one and i think a woodland creatures themed one i, I think that might be it there might be another one, I don't know. But I fell in love with this one. I did this one with the when it was a crochet long, or I started it. I think I fell behind and I ended up having to finish it on my own time, as per usual. <laughs> but I absolutely love this blanket. It comes out pretty big. It's pretty wide. That's the wide. <laughs> the width and the, the length is about the same. It's like a big square. And uh, what I did to line it is I went to Joann's and bought a, the right amount of um, fleece I needed. I can't remember if I had to piece it together. I think it's one big solid piece. So I yeah I had, had to trim some off actually to make it fit right and um I got a special rotary blade I can't remember now off the top of my head what it's called but it's got little 
like lit bumps on it. It's not a solid blade. It's blade and then space, blade and then space <laughs> all around. So when you roll it across fabric, it doesn't cut it, but it cuts it every other space right there where those stitches are. And then after I did that, I just held my fleece, I keep wanting to call it flannel, <laughs> fleece and my crochet blanket together and I, with black yarn, and I crochet, I single crocheted them together, I think, or slip stitch. I think it's slip stitch, yeah, because that's why you can barely see it right there, because I was kind of pulling it tight. And I just kind of did that all the way around there. Is that how I did it? Nope, I lied, I lied, I'm sorry, backtrack. I single crocheted all the way around the uh, fleece. <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling it flannel. I made like a border around it and then I held my fleeces border and my blanket border together and I think I whip stitched it together because I didn't want the, um, I tried to single crochet it together but then it would, the black would show through the uh, green whole lot and I didn't want it to do that. So I think I just whip stitched it together. And it works. It's aligned. It's really heavy and comfortable, like cozy. And I love it a lot. It's always on my couch. I think I made this in... I think I made it in 2017 or 2018. I can't remember. I have to go look at my old videos. But uh, every year since, it's been on the couch. And we use it. So, And I do wash it. I just throw it when it gets dirty or something. I just throw it in the washer and the dryer. I'm not, I'm not the kind of person who <laughs> is picky about. That's why I love acrylic. Because I love to just be able to clean it. with. Because uh, I'm messy, first of all. I'm a messy eater. And we eat in the living room. Snacks and stuff. <laughs> and Jesse, you know, it was a baby when I made this. Well, not a baby, but like two years old. And so this has been washed many times. That's why it's kind of got fuzzes on it. Right there, you can see on the black, it's got like lint balls. <laughs> but you know, it's meant to be used. It's not meant to be like a museum piece. So uh, yeah, we love this blanket. And I know I'm gonna love the Christmas one. It's kind of heavy. Let me throw it back on the couch. <laughs> Anyways, um, when I get around to doing that to the Christmas blanket, I will record it kind of, you know, I'm not the best at recording things like that, but I will try my best <laughs> to record what I'm doing so that you guys can have an idea how to do it. And um, you can also sew it on there. I've seen people where they use like a sewing machine and sew a backing to the crochet. And I guess I could do that, but I think that was back when I first started sewing. Um, that was probably 2017, I'm thinking. So I wasn't comfortable enough with my sewing machine to do that. So I just opted with that way. And I learned how to do that from, I think, Mikey at the Crochet Crowd. I think I heated a video about it once. He did it with a corner to corner blanket. I think so. And that, that special blade, I just got that at Joann's. You can just get the blade, and then you can just put it on your, your rotary cutter already, you know. So, yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> I'm also going to line my Halloween bag. It's right here. Uh, with fabric, and I'm probably going to sew that because I think that'll be, I'm a little bit more confident now. And I'll try to show that also when I uh, get around to doing that, but it'll be a little while. I'm still working on it. <laughs> Anyways, that is my work, Watch Your Work on a Wednesday video with a lot of extra stuff added to it as per usual. Now I'm going to sit over there real quick and make a grocery order because <laughs> we're running out of some things and I don't really want to go to the store. So I'm just going to order it and then go pick it up later, I think. That would be easier for me. <laughs> and um, that way I don't have to lift like the heavy things. I can just leave them in the trunk and then Devin can get them later. <laughs> That's usually what I do. But yeah, so Jesse's at school today. It's his third day at school. <laughs> but I'm going to go see what the email was and then I'm going to go order some groceries and then I'm going to work on Santa's. I think that's my plan. <laughs> so I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.